I've just had all the things on my mind lately. I've been incredibly busy, which is everyone's favorite thing to say. Doing all the things, seeing all the things. I literally haven't seen a human today, actually. This is like the first time I'm talking. This is weird. I'm just noticing this. That's okay, what's up, you guys? It's Connor. This week, I did not feel like doing anything besides just talking and painting my nails, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to paint my nails, then I'm just gonna talk about whatever I feel like talking about. So if you, if you wanna listen, let's go for it. I'm terrified that I'm going to spill this everywhere. I've only painted my nails maybe a dozen times, so bear with me. It's not as easy as it looks. I don't care what anyone says, this is a skill. I need, I'm still trying to learn it. That looks that looks decent. I went with this. Oh my god, I'm such a guru. <gasps> a guru. I went with this hunter green color because I'm wearing hunter green and because Kevin is hunter green. This one's for you, Kevin. Shout out to Kevin. So, I've been seeing a lot of movies lately. One that everyone was talking about, one that I was super excited to see was Suicide Squad. <laughs> That has Jared Leto and a bunch of other humans. And I had high expectations. I um, I, I saw the trailer like, what, a year ago? I fucking hate that movies can do that, that they can put out their trailers a year early because I am so impatient. Mm. But so I had really high expectations of this. This is coming along nicely. And it didn't live up to it. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it really wasn't a good movie. I'm, I, I, how do I say this without offending anybody? It had great intentions. The acting was amazing, or maybe not amazing, but like really, really good. All of the the costumes and the scenes and everything looked great. It was just edited so weird. Like if you've seen the film, it just, it's so jumpy and it's almost no shade towards me, but it's like a YouTube video. It just kind of jumps all over and doesn't make sense. Okay, shade towards me. Yeah, so it was fun, but not amazing. Another movie though that I saw was, I love, fun fact about me, I love scary movies. So I saw this film that is out, that's called Lights Out, and holy shit, it is terrifying. I, it had me, so, <laughs> Little backstory, so I wanted to see this movie, uh, but I was starving. So me and my friends went to this movie and we snuck in our dinner. So I legit snuck in a giant salad into this movie and was sitting there crunching on my salad the whole movie. I felt bad because it was like loud, but I snuck a whole dinner into a movie. Dinner and a movie, how amazing. And I also wore a hoodie and sweats to it and was like, I put up my hood and I was like terrified the whole time because it was so scary. But yeah, it was like terrifying. And the most amazing part about it is I think they made it for like two or three million dollars, which is a tiny amount of money for a movie. So that's really commendable. It's really, I love when people do things that people don't expect. Do I dare start on the second hand? This is going to be, I'm always so bad because I'm right-handed. I'm not, what is it, Am ambidext ambidextrous. I'm struggling with the words. So this is difficult. This hand is, oh, I already done fucked up. <laughs> How am I, how are you supposed to talk and paint at the same time? What am I, some sort of mother? My mom can do like 50 things at the same time. She is a high class woman. Isn't it really stupid how finger paint is classified as a female product? Like it's literally paint for your fingers. If I went to the store and bought house paint, like paint that you paint on a wall and put it on my fingers, is that more manly of me? Everything is stupid. Everything is Stupid. I would love to live in a society one day where products are not gendered and you just walk into a clothing store and you just kind of buy whatever you want. Nothing's categorized, you just figure it out. Oh, my pinky looks so bad. So bad. I bought clothes from this Korean brand. I don't even remember the name of it, to be honest, but that's how they're doing it. The clothes have no gender, so they have one size, which is, that's unrealistic in my opinion. It's one size and unisex, which I thought just was like interesting. I got a t-shirt and it did not fit me, but it looked sick. Every time I do this, I always want to, to touch things when my hands are wet and that just doesn't work with this. And now we wait. I got this t-shirt at a vintage store and I realized as I was putting it on, one of the armpits has like a permanent stain. That's disgusting. Now that I'm verbally saying that. It was $10.
I've been working on a lot. I know you hate when I do. I'm gonna put on a second coat. I've been working on a lot of secret projects that I cannot wait for you guys to see. I've literally been wait, waiting, working on them for months, 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 months. One huge one in particular that I'm like genuinely super thrilled about. And I know you guys are really gonna love it. It's always so hard working on things in secret because no one knows you're doing them. Like it just looks like you're lazy. It looks like you're doing nothing, but you're secretly like working your fucking ass off. I've been swearing so much in this video. My mom is gonna call me. I've also been playing, as has the world, been playing Pokemon Go lately. And I caught a Dragonite the other night. Jealous? I also evolved my, my, God, I really like Pokemon, I'm not a poser. Um, my Growlithe into a Arcanine. It's like the cutest thing in the world. I remember growing up that I wanted Pokemon to be real so badly. Like, so, like, to the point of tears, I was like, I want this dog to be my dog, or I want this dragon to fly me to school. Did I paint my thumb? I don't think I painted my thumb yet. This is, this is looking great. I'm. This is not, might be my best work yet. No, wait, I did paint it. Did I paint it already? I don't know if I did. This quickly is going to turn into one of those hundred layer videos. Oh, good God. Can you imagine? It's really looking pretty good. I'm like content with it. I'm a, I'm a cool girl. Ice cold. Pick that up later. These are made from nuts. I suppose I should also mention that this video is sponsored by Audible.com. As you guys know, I work with Audible very frequently. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks. They have all of the books. If you love listening to books, I recommend you go listen to The Gilded Razor by Sam Lansky. I have yet to listen to this one, but I've been recommended it a million times by so many friends. It's a memoir. It's a little bit dark at times, and it's also very insightful. He's also gay, so I can relate to that. But yeah, so if you want to download a book or any book on Audible.com, Something's going on out there. Use audible.com slash Connor. If you use audible.com slash Connor, you can start your free 30 day trial and you can get Sam's book or you can get any other book. Read a book. We're on to the next hand. Ooh, wait, I want a chip first. Is this lead based? Like, am I eating? If I eat this, will I die? I'm assuming I will. What about like traces of it? Like, when I bite my nails, if I eat this, will I die? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Fun fact, I've only started painting my nails, like I said, like a couple months ago. Here and there, I, I get bored with it and then I pick it off. But it's really helped me stop biting my nails. Every time I take off the, who knows if it's lead-based, paint, my nails just feel longer and they feel fresh. It's as if I didn't eat them. I think I just need to snack more, to be honest. Am I like that hungry that I'm forced to eating parts of my body? Oh, oh shit. Oh God, I swear to God if I spill this. My mom doesn't even live here, but she will have a fit. The pointer finger on the right hand is not fixable at this point. As for new music that I've been listening to, Tovlo came out with a new song, which took me a few listens, not gonna lie, called Cool Girl, and I really like it. I, um, <laughs> I was, after the scary movie last night, I purposefully, the purpose tour, I purposefully drove around the block because I wanted to listen to the song again. So I just like, it was like one in the morning and I was just playing that song with my windows down driving around the block, screaming, belting all of the lyrics that I have yet to learn. Oh, I messed that one up too. Uh, so stressful. Oh my God, another thing. I've also been watching the hashtag Olympics. I mean, I can't touch things. Mm. Look how dope. The Olympics themselves sent me a a shirt thing and it has my name on the back. It's like my childhood dream. I used to think that I was gonna go to the Olympics. I was so deeply involved in swimming that I thought I would make it to the Olympics. I hate to crash my childhood dreams, but that's hard. <laughs> but I've been watching the Olympics and it's been really fun. And oh God, everyone is just so damn attractive. All of the boys, all of the girls, everyone is just so damn attractive and so good. Like the gymnasts just flipping through the air like it's nothing. They look like they have some form of superpowers and they can just jump and do flips. Like it looks that easy. The human anatomy and capabilities. Okay, there they are. There we go. Hmm. 
Is this a look? There we go. This hand is so fucked up. <sighs> Stress. This is a very. Oh! <gasps> I think I just. Oh, no, I can't touch it yet. It's not dry. Okay, well. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun for me. I mean, I got to paint my nails and make a video and talk about all my favorite things. So that's... Let me know in the comments down below what are some of the things that you're interested in right now. Movies, music, hot men, anything. Why not? Do whatever you want. And while you're at it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so... Uh, wait, a big... Thumbs up, there we go. And click subscribe if you're new. Okay, I love you. You're great. I'm gonna talk to you later. If you enjoyed this video again, make sure to big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Bye.